Well, hi there, everybody. So anyway, in case you haven't heard, the big news is, is that the, the Mohawk, the New York Central 3001, is going to be restored to operating status. This is pretty exciting for Indiana. To me, it's going to be like the Eastern United States version of 844. I know it really doesn't have the same wheel arrangement, but it looks pretty identical and identical wheel diameter. To 844, so yeah, that's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm very, very excited about it. So yeah, am I gonna go see it right away? Well, probably not because the idiots will be out in full force once it's restored. But it'll be eventually on my bucket list to see. Either way, I still need to get out and check out the Fort Wayne area and see 765. So yeah, I wonder if they still do the engineer thing or whatever or unless I'm thinking of the e Ely Nevada the, at the Nevada Northern Railway I'd like to participate in that sometime honestly to be honest with you so yeah I don't mind the windy windy weather so I was out taking my Sunday walk here at my grandparents hometown so got to keep their legacy living but yeah and Steam season 2024 was pretty wild. 2816 went from Calgary to Mexico City and back. 4014 got to see a good chunk of the UP system. The Mohawk 3001 being restored. So yeah, I thought 2024 was a good year for Steam. So, what's your predictions for 2025? Well, my predictions is is in terms of 2016, well, not sure if I'll come back into the States next year, but I was kind of overhearing at Silvis when I was there June 29th that they will eventually come back into the States. I think there's other parts of Canada I think they have yet to tour. I wonder if that's going to be next year or not. Because I know Jim Vina from Union Pacific really wants Big Boy in 2016 to meet. To me, there's a few li very likely scenarios where it would meet if if it did somehow work out next year or any time in the future. Chicago area somewhere, St. Paul, Kansas City or whatever. So yeah, if it's any within those, I mean, if it's in downtown Chicago, forget it. But if it's at St. Paul, Kansas City or something like that, I could justify making a tr trip out of this, so. But yeah. So what's your predictions for 2025 on the Union Pacific side? Well, Big Boy could get another tour in, or we could ultimately end up finding out about 844. I got a feeling, who knows, maybe... I'm trying to think. I know there's been a lot of teasers for Boise and Portland, but I heard through the grapevine somewhere that they're trying to improve the boise Patelico corridor to maybe for its chances to at least see that because let's face it I mean something could change in the future but even back in the day when the bait boys were new the track clearances in northern Oregon towards Portland was never cleared of bait boys let's just face the facts on that fortunately if you're out that way and really want to see it or if you're in the eastern United States and want to see it you're unfortunately going to have to come to it and am I going to chase across Iowa again like I did? I can justify with 844 maybe doing out one more time, but with that engine instead. But honestly, for 4014, the next time that it does come to Iowa, I'm just going to make a day out of it. Like, say if it goes from Boone to Mason City, uh, Council Bluffs to Des Moines or whatever, if it was to be Omaha to Des Moines and go down the spine at Nevada that direction, I would honestly about maybe around Carroll Point see start chasing, but west of Carroll probably not. That was a one-time deals, but yeah, it's just I'm just going through some different predicaments for a Steam 2025. And obviously, I got a feeling by this time next year, RHMA is going to be sitting very, very good. 
I'm hearing through the grapevine potentially 2026 within two years or so, if that, for them to be on fire at 39.85. I mean, I don't know if 5511 will be back the exact, exact same time, but it should be right around that same time too, if not just a little after. But, but yeah, it's just yeah, it's just exciting to hear that a New York Central steamer is going to be brought back to operation. Very, very exciting. I'm actually pretty excited about it, and even though I don't live right by it, I maybe want to predict from where I live, it's probably an eight-hour or nine-hour drive, if I want to guess right. So, I think from what I'm hearing is, is they're trying to get funds raised so they can actually get it moved from Alcar down to wherever their shop is. I would imagine it's Fort Wayne, but I heard it's at a different location. So yeah, likely scenarios I can see for Steam next year is 2016, regardless if it comes into the States or not, it gets another run in. Something like Union Pacific Steam, Big Boy could take another t tour or that small, small chance that we get an update and they're going to do 844 next year. So Union Pacific Steam, I'm giving it 50-50 of what they're going to run next year. But I know after this Heartland Tour concludes here real soon, this Union Pacific Steam season 2024 has come to an end. It was a good run for them this year. They went to, what's nice about this past summer, they got to LA's half of the areas that they had yet to go through. Just unfortunate that it struck that tree at Auburn, California, so. So, it's just, I'm curious to see what steam season has to bring for 2025, honestly, so. Not going to make this too long of a talk video, and in, in a civil way, of course, I do want to hear in the comment section of, what your predicaments is for steam season 2025 of any mainline steam like 2816, the Union Pacific, that type of thing, or if we get another big, big announcement. Side note before I sign off, I don't know if it's just me or did anybody ever notice this trend, but the trend that I've noticed is, is ever since, since they brought the big boy out of retirement, there's been quite a few steam engines coming out of retirement. I honestly think 4014 started kind of somewhat of a ripple effect on bringing steam engines back out of retirement. I mean, I know Gavin, not every single steam engine, but I feel like we're headed in the right direction. So, but yeah, out for now.